this one I'm making here is propeller planes for actually here, these ones are for dinky. What I do is uh, I get a, a tin and put tape on and do crisscross and cut out a whole pile of them at 20 by 20s. And then I mark, as you can see in these ones here, I mark the propellers on them with ink and then cut them in squares and then just grind out the rest. And I get these flat propellers which are already painted red. But then you just give them a slight twist and they look like the dinky toy propellers. Pretty simple. It takes a while to file or clean these edges out here. Dremel is great for that, but that's how I make them. Now I'm making them for this plane here I picked up in a sail which was missing. Propellers were all broken and the wheels were snapped off so I put doors on here to hide that. And I might put a little wheel up the back here. But what I'm going to do is put in new propellers in here like this. So yeah, it's going to be kind of cool. But I'm going to make them round and cut them out. So a little bit different. There are three propellers on this. And they're like this here. As you can see. There we go. So I'm trying to make that right now. I'm going to cut it with the scissors and see how I do. Yeah, so just taped up the discs I cut out and I'm, can you see that? Yeah, I'm just cutting around now and making the paper circular so I can work on them all. I mean, it's not going to be too accurate. It's like 15 mil. I didn't have a compass, so I basically stuck my calipers in the middle and turned the metal around it like this and made a line like that see in here I made a hole and then I just turned them turned it sideways and made a little scratch mark so I have something to go on so there I've inked it out or penciled it out and what I'm going to do now is cut this out and shape it and then shape all these other for two planes four on each plane eight of them and we'll see how it's going we'll see what this looks like this needs a cap of some type. I'm not too sure with what yet. So, here we are with the propellers. Now, these two are fairly well prepped. So, I've kind of got those two done. Now, you can see I've cut out all the other ones to the first shape. I did all of them like this with scissors. So, that's the quick way of getting it done. You come in with scissors and cut out, cut out, cut out. And now I'll just shape them in like these. And then I'll do the final touch take a while but we'll file a bit and we'll get it and then we'll mount them on the plane yep so this is where I got to I've been using the diamond blade on the Dremel this one and I still got to clean up a little bit more I've got one that's a little bit too narrow but you know I've done pretty good and you know in the end if I can find the right one one of these goes actually on as a template, but I think I've lost it now. Yeah, that worked. There we go. In the end, they're going to go on this bomber here like that. I think they need a little bit of a cone here to make it look really cool. But we're th there. Uh, there we go. There, see that one? And I'll put a little cone maybe on there of some kite type and twist the blades a little and I'll let my little model plane back there damaged and I'd like to bring them back to life there we are and there's my dinky toy ones I've made in the past so they're not perfect they're quirky but they look cool now I'll just finish these up and I'll show them on the plane yes yeah, so what I've done is I put solder on one side of these to give them a little bit more of a classy look, which I should maybe do to the dinky toys, but this is different. This isn't a dinky toy. The dinky toys are straight tin. So these are basically, I put some solder on these to give them a better look, and a nail goes in here, just like a pop rivet, like that, and then with a little bit of an um, old dowel or I think it's from a kebab or dowel. I'm going to make these caps and put them on. And it'll look pretty good then. Just got to put these under hot water so the acid doesn't rust. And then we'll paint them black later on. 
See, and I got pop rivets in here. So it's all working out really nicely. It's going to look lovely. So here's the plane with the propellers on. It just needs drying. I just poxy these on with J and B weld. And they just need drying. And I have these two lovely planes nearly ready to go. Got to put a little small wheel in the back. But there we are, salvaged from the, from the um, market for a euro each. Aren't they pretty? There's the finished painting with the dowels capped. See, there you go. Show you the other one. Put this one up here a sec. Here's the black one. Oh, it's black underneath, right? There we go. All finished. See how nice you look? <laughs>